Hey everybody, this is Not a Spring Chicken. We've been hearing some murmurs about this along the way, which is now the Democrats have decided that it's time to put President Obama now on Mount Rushmore. What? Okay, they talked about that before, but not only, well, first of all, he's a living president. Usually, they put these guys up on Mount Rushmore after all these guys had long passed away, right, to go ahead and honor everything that they had done. Now they're top President Obama being put on Mount Rushmore. But the other part is, is to put him because of the fragile state of Mount Rushmore, they have to take down two presidents to put his face up there. Hmm. Well, for now, we're going to bring Old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, they said the Republicans have overreached on, on everything, and now they're overreaching on health care because they said that everyone wants Obama's Affordable Health Care Act, and the fact that, that, that they're trying to stop it is going to anger the people, and they're going to throw the Republicans out of office in 214. It will be a landslide. Mm -hmm. Of course, though, 76% of the people in the nation, the polls, I think a lot of Democrats don't want the health pack because there's nothing affordable. Okay, if you had health care before and you like the system you had before, you're not going to be able to keep it. If you had it with your job, most of, a lot of the people are going to cut their health care programs at work and, uh, and, and the unions are throwing fits about the fact they're now not going to, the bomber's not going to be able to keep his promise about them keeping their health care which he said was never going to happen. So if they want to keep their Cadillac plan, they have to pay it themselves. And what was right now is uh, it's right now like $50, $60 a month, right now more than it was before Obama took the presidency because of afforded health care. But don't worry, if you're uh, here illegally, you get everything provided for you free of charge by the Obama administration. And, oh, you do? Yep. It's only if you're here illegally and you speak Latin. Yeah, if you speak, Latin. You speak in no, Latin, a Latin language. Remember, if you're from Deutschland, and you, you don't you, you don't go speak. I'm from Deutschland. You say, I was I know hardly Espanol. I'm from Germany. I know I know hardly Espanol. I know hardly German. I know hardly English. I I speak only hardly English, but Espanol. Oh, okay. Blonde hair, blue eyes, seven foot tall. You know, Nordic like, but as long as he can speak Spanish, he's in, folks. Mm -hmm. And Obama turns to Christie for support. I know. They said Christie has got, I mean, they're basically they're doing the pictures, him posing with the Republican Christie again today. Mm -hmm. They said this guy is, they know he's preparing to, okay, mm -hmm. he wouldn't lose weight to run as a Republican, but he knows that they don't like fat Democrats running for public, running for the presidency, so he's got to drop 100 pounds at least and run as a Democrat in the next election. They said, it's his polling against, um, right now, they're polling him as a Democrat against Hillary Clinton, and he's coming in right beneath her. So you know he's preparing to switch parties. Mm -hmm. And fire breaks out aboard the Royal Caribbean cruise ship. Uh, I know, they just wiped out the whole upper deck. Oh, folks. no, what happened? Uh, another one, okay. Boy, those cruise ships are having a hard time. What happens they? is the ships have all been built way too big. They're too complicated. It's just like... I grew up learning to fly by wire. Today they fly by signal, and when you lose the power, you can ping. They're the same thing as the ships. The modern ships are so complicated that uh, any virtually virtually anything in the world can go wrong if it's uh, electrical versus the way it used to be, and it is going wrong. They're losing water. The power. The ships are dying from power. Everything you think of. It's all related to power, isn't it's it? It's all related to power. And Chinese hackers access major weapon systems. Obama says it never happened. Mm. Never happened. You know, but everybody in the universe knows it happened. They've got access to our systems now because of our president. So. And medical pot laws and treats may send more kids to the ER. Oh, I love it that they're what? now the same people that medical so pot laws and treats. Yeah, they, they said what happened is they changed all of these. They changed the laws in, a, in, in several states so that they can have marijuana now. And there's now dawned on them, well, like kids get into alcohol, kids and get into cigarettes, they're now getting into their parents' marijuana, and it is very deadly to small children. So, uh, so basically, there's no law against the kids having it, folks. There's nothing that says you have to be an adult. They said it is legal. Oh. So there is no laws about it. They, this is, like, there's no law about, they, like Colorado, finally, you mean we don't have a law about driving under the influence of marijuana? Oops. And uh, they basically, it's too late to do it now, so because they don't have the strength they had before. 
So what happens is you can basically have you know, be totally stoned and kill a hundred thousand people. It wouldn't make any difference because, according to the law, it's perfectly legal to drive while you're on your marijuana. Mm -hmm. And housing prices soaring to new record highs. Oh, they're the highest they have now. I mean, the the houses. You know, of course, it doesn't make any difference if you lived in a million dollar house before and that house is now worth two hundred thousand dollars and you can't sell it. The, it is now a seller's market, according to the uh, according to all of the sources. Uh, and if you have a house, you can just ask any price you want for it, and people will pay for it. Um, we're gonna try something. See, BS the bull. If I go out the door of the studio and throw BS in any direction, I'm going to hit a house that is on the market but doesn't have a for sale sign out in front. Mm -hmm. We got houses. From, we got we got places that are four or five houses away from here that basically have been on the market so long, their vacant is starting to be rent, uh, starting to be de deteriorate, and there's no longer a sell sign on them. But we, we know the people that used to own them, they say, well, that's not our problem anymore. And because they can't sell them. And which two heads get removed so Obama can take his place on Mount Rushmore? That's the whole bit, because 30% uh, of academia now thinks that Obama is justified because of the great things he's done, and also because the fact that he's the first First minority president. Well, no, he wasn't because we had other. We've had a Latin president for. I know he was born in Pan. He was. He was. You know, his his parents were born in Panama. His grandparents were born in Panama. Who's that? That makes uh, one, of, uh, one of the presidents. I uh, think, but he. They don't list him as being a Latin president because um, he he was born in the United States. Well, no, his family was all born in Panama. That was a Latin country, folks. But they. Ignore him, you know why? Why? He was a Republican. Um, but I want to see, I also have been to um, Mount Rushmore, which most of these Democrats have never been to. They said there's plenty enough room on Mount Rushmore to put the president's head there. Well, uh, uh, no, there's not. There's only room for the three, and the heads, they have to every year, they go back and fix the cracks in the mm -hmm. face of Mount Rushmore. In order to carve the president's head, they have to remove two lesser presidents. They already know Teddy Roosevelt's gone and they assume it's going to be Abraham Lincoln because Abraham Lincoln was a slave owner and that means they have to keep the one to keep the founder of the Republican Party because he freed the slaves was really pissed, you know, you, they said, well, you'd have a man, a Republican and the greatest president that ever sit, which he would have a bigger head than um, what they already said, so. Oh, and will justices take note of new gay marriage laws? They're not going to, okay, first of all, they said what's going to happen is the gay rights people are not going to win the battle for the simple reason that uh, it is not a federal thing. They said the states have the right to set laws about marriage in their own states. And therefore, if 38, 38 of the states have basically ruled that gay marriage is not legal, that a marriage is between a man and a woman, the Supreme Court cannot change what is within the states without the United States government recognizing that gay, that uh, marriage is no longer between... Oh, here's what one of, the, one of the justices said. Actually, it was one of the liberal justices. You mean if my son wants to marry my pet chihuahua, that's going to be perfectly... Well, that's not how it means. Well, that's what they said, mm -hmm. that marriage is no longer between a man and a woman. Marriage could be between, be between a woman and a tree, a man and a house. So, but they said, well, that's not what it's intended. That's called the, the rule of unintended uh -huh. consequences, folks. And three feet of snow in upstate New York on Memorial Weekend? Yeah, because that's, uh, it, that's how it works. Well, it's, a, it's global warming at work. You know, we're getting colder because of that's global three warming. three feet of snow? Yeah. Wow. Um, disputes over arms for Syria cloud U.S. Russian peace drive. Well, yeah, you know, because the uh, Russians are not going to kick Assad out and let the rebels take control. I mean, that's got to be the most... Okay, this guy in the White House lives in a, a universe that does not exist. The Russians need Damascus. You think that the, that the Al-Qaeda types and Hezbollah are going to let Russia have Damascus to send their, their military hardware through the Middle East? It ain't going to happen. So they'll sit there and hold on to uh, Assad as long as they can, then they'll find somebody to replace Assad and support him. Mm -hmm. And Health and Human Services seeking more money from business to make it work right. Well, they say it's perfectly all right to do that because the Republicans won't fund that. They need uh, 100,000 navigators, which means 100,000 union people, to work 
promoting the program for Obamacare and explain people how that 66 pages stuff is filled out and um, and the government, is, there's no money to fund it and they need like two or three more billion dollars and they're holding up businesses to get it and they said it's, per Sebelius said it's perfectly legal and uh, everybody knows they said it's a violation of federal statutes. You cannot use a government position to raise money for a government program. Well, it's not a government program. This money is being channeled through people like SEIU and other organizations that will help people. No, it's being used to hire workers to directly promote a government program. So, it, it's, it, they'll, they'll, the House, Senate, I mean, the, Obama will lose this one big time, folks. It's, it's called number five on his scandal now. And a Monty bubble isn't from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, basically today you can't believe anything you hear uh, from either the right and the left, and neither the right and the left cares about it.